Hello friends, hope you all are doing well, taking care of yourself as well as your family. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the unit quantities. So, our discussion includes uh, what is unit quantities, uh, different unit quantities which are used to predict the performance of turbine and numerical based on it. So, let's start. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have discussed about the specific speed of the turbine. So, we know that we are going to use specific speed uh, whenever we are going to compare two different turbine. As we know, whenever we are designing the turbine, uh, turbines are generally designed for the uh, particular uh, parameters which are generally known as design parameter and those design parameter are selected in a such a way that uh, turbine is going to work under highest possible maximum efficiency. Now whenever we are comparing two different types of turbine at that time it is necessary that both the turbine are working under the same condition that is what we have considered in the specific speed as specific condition under which my both the turbines are working so our specific condition was that when my head is one meter on the turbine and under the one meter head when my turbine is going to develop a unit power at that time the speed of the turbine is known as specific speed and by using that specific speed we can compare uh, two different turbine but whenever we are going to look for the single turbine at that time uh, the same turbine which is going to work under the different conditions like say if the head is going to change if the speed is going to change then the same turbine is going to produce different output different power output so in that condition whenever we are going to compare the performance of the same turbine which is working under the variable condition at that time we are going to make use of unit quantities so remember that whenever we are going to compare two different types of turbine we are going to make use of specific speed and whenever we are going to compare the performance of same turbine which is working under different condition then we are going to make use of unit quantity in case of specific speed we are going to compare two different turbine which are working under the specific condition so generally we know that uh, a turbine is particularly divided for the design parameter but in actual practice whenever turbine is going to work on the site at that time it is going to work under the variable condition in which your head may going to change uh, your speed may going to change your output power may going to change or your gate opening would be the different so in that condition whenever we are going to uh, predict the behavior of the turbine to study the performance of the turbine under variable condition at that time we are going to make use of unit quantity so for that purpose uh, we are going to consider generally four parameters so first one is the head second one is the speed so uh, head available on the turbine is going to change whenever it is going to work speed of the turbine then power output of the turbine and gate opening whenever we are going to govern the output of the turbine at that time it will be generally governed by the uh, uh, controlling the gate opening so those are the four variable which are going to ch change on the site and those variable uh, that variable condition would be developed in the laboratory because that kind of variable condition it is quite uh, difficult to develop on the uh, actual site so before putting turbine into the working uh, we are going to perform a test on that turbine how that turbine is going to behave or how that turbine is going to perform under the variable condition so for example my head is going to change from 10 meter to 50 meter then how my turbine is going to perform that uh, exactly the test we are going to conduct in the laboratory or uh, maybe in the test plan and after conducting the test we are going to obtain the result so whenever we are going to conduct the test uh, the same we have discussed during the specific speed so in during the specific speed we have discussed that we are going to develop geometrically or uh, dimensionally similar turbine but design in a such a way that is uh, which is going to produce one kilowatt of power when it is working under one meter head similarly here we are going to develop model of the turbine and we are going to perform all the test on that particular model in the laboratory so there will be another concept whenever we are discussing about the unit quantity and specific speed that it's a model relationship uh, that we will discuss in the separate video lecture so generally we are going to perform those tests on the model uh, and after obtaining the result to facilitate the comparison uh, of the turbine under the different condition like say uh, head and speed is going to change power is going to change gate opening is going to change at that time we are going to divide the result in a particular quantity which is known as unit quantity so we are going to convert our test result in a such a way that when we are going to reduce our head to unit head then what would be the uh, value of that quantity like say if i am considering the speed which is going to vary so i am going to reduce head of the turbine under which my turbine is working to the unit head and i am going to estimate what would be my 
speed of the turbine and that's what we are going to refer it as unit speed similarly for the unit power similarly for the gate opening now as we have discussed uh, we are going to control the same turbine we are going to compare the performance of the same turbine under the variable condition it is uh, only possible when when we are maintaining the efficiency of that turbine uh, that is going to be same in both the condition like say if my head is going to change uh, like say from h1 to h2 in that case what is going to happen obviously my efficiency may going to change so if i am going to maintain the efficiency like i say if under the h1 head my efficiency is 90% and if under the head h2 my efficiency is also 90% then and then only i am able to perform the comparison of the performance of the turbine under both heads but if my efficiency is not uh, going to be a same in that case i cannot compare its performance under the, the two conditions so uh, it is the most important condition whenever we are going to compare the performance of two turbine by using unit quantity at that time we are going to consider those four variables and at the same time we are changing those variable values of those variable from h1 to n, uh, h2 h3 h4 speed uh, n1 n2 n3 power p1 p2 p3 gate opening 1 2 3 so under all those condition my efficiency will be maintained as a constant so let's go for the definition of uh, unit quantities so in short we can say unit quantity is that quantity which is obtained when my turbine is working under the unit head so whenever i am going to reduce head on the turbine to the unity at that time order the value of that quantity is known as unit quantity so specifically uh, generally we are considering three unit quantities unit speed unit discharge and unit power so uh, if i am saying the unit speed so unit speed would be that speed whenever my turbine is working under unit head then whatever my speed of the turbine is known as unit speed and whenever i am considering that quantity which is obtained when my turbine is working under the unit head that quantity is known as unit quantity but remember that there is a condition we are going to maintain our efficiency as a constant which is going to be unaffected so let's start to discuss uh, unit quantities one by one first one is the unit speed now we are going to find the relationship between uh, Uh, you uh, speed of the turbine and unit head because its definition itself saying that speed of the turbine uh, unit speed is the speed of the turbine when my turbine is working under unit head so we are going to find the relationship between uh, speed of the turbine uh, when it is working under the unit head that is known as unit speed so we are going to find the relationship between those three so let's start Yeah, so let n is the speed of the turbine which is working under head h h is the net head under which my turbine is going to work uh, u is the tangential velocity now we know that what are my tangential velocity uh, is given by pi d n upon 60 so here i can say that if i am considering the same turbine which is working under different condition we know that pi is constant 60 is constant if i am considering the same turbine which is working under variable condition in that case my diameter will also be the constant so i can say that my u is directly proportional to the n but here i got uh, value of the speed but i haven't got yet here it is the velocity tangential velocity i need to find the relationship between speed and head so here i am going to consider another equation of the uh, u which is given by u is equal to ku under root of twice of gh again ku is the constant under root of twice of g is constant so i can say that my u is directly proportional to the under root of h so here uh, i am going to put this value in this other equation so my uh, equation would become u is directly proportional to the under root of h so i am going to write down the uh, it in equation form in the expression form so n is equal to k1 under root of h where my k1 is the proportionality constant i am going to find the value of k1 by using my definition so my speed of the turbine will be the unit speed when my uh, head is united so i am going to put here h is equal to 1 meter at that time n is equal to n u just put that value i am going to get value of k1 as n u so my expression for the unit speed would be equal to n u is equal to n under root of h after putting this value of nu in this equation number 1 so this will be my equation of nu that is nu speed which is given by n divided by under root of h let's move to the next unit discharge so it is a discharge uh, which is passing through the turbine when my turbine is going to work under the unit head again same i am going to find the relationship between discharge and uh, head 
So here we know that uh, H uh, discharge of the turbine is given by area of the flow multiplied by velocity. Now if I am considering the same turbine which is working under different condition at that time my area of flow uh, is going to remain constant where the velocity which is given by CV under root of twice of GS so I can say that my V will be uh, directly proportional to the under root of H. So here uh, my area of flow will remain constant I am as I am considering the same turbine so my Q is directly proportional to the under root of H so I am going to write it in equation form Q is equal to K2 under root of H where again K2 is the proportionality constant I am going to find it again by considering my uh, definition of unit discharge so I am going to put H is equal to 1 at that time when my H is equal to 1 my Q is equal to QU after putting this value I am going to get a value of K2 is equal to Q U that is unit discharge just putting this value in the equation number one I am going to get the value of equation for the QU so QU will be equal to uh, Q divided by under root of H next unit power so again definition of the unit power it is the power output of the turbine when it is working under the unit head now again uh, consider a power which is developed by turbine which is working under unit head we know that uh, uh, power can be calculated by using this uh, efficiency so equation of the power is rho u qh multiplied by efficiency so again for given turbine efficiency is going to remain constant this rho and g both are going to remain constant so i can say here uh, my p is directly proportional to the q and h again i am going to put the value of q which we have derived previously that is q is directly proportional to under root of h multiplied by h so here i am going to get the equation p is equal to k3 uh, h raised to 3 by 2 where k3 again proportionality constant i am going to find it uh, by using definition again when h is equal to 1 meter my p is equal to uh, unit discharge uh, sorry unit power so here is the correction it is power uh, which is given by unit power now i am going to find the value of by putting this condition i am going to get the value of k3 as a p u just put this value in this equation we are going to get the value of uh, unit power which is given by pu is equal to p uh, divided by h raised to 3 by 2 so what is the use of those quantity so by using those unit quantity we can uh, uh, calculate the performance of turbine which is working under different rate so uh, let us consider here uh, h1a h2 h3 h4 etc are my head under which my turbine same turbine is going to work uh, n1 n2 n3 n4 are the corresponding speed of the turbine k1 k2 k3 k3 uh, k4 etc are the corresponding discharge of that turbine p1 p2 p3 p4 are etc are the corresponding power developed by that turbine which is working under those corresponding uh, head h1 h2 h3 etc so uh, if my turbine is going to work under h1 or rather h2 in both the condition unit speed of the turbine is going to remain same so i can write down the equation for unit speed under all the condition n u is equal to n1 divided by under root of h1 is equal to n2 divided by under root of h2 those both the equation going to give me the value of n u similarly for the uh, discharge this equation is going to give me the value of unit speed similarly this equation is also going to give me the value of unit speed both would be the same because unit speed is that speed whenever my turbine is working under the uh, unit head so it would be applicable under all those uh, conditions whenever my turbine is going to work either h1 h2 h3 h4 so by using uh, value of uh, uh, speed or value of the uh, discharge or value of the power which is working under the specific head we can compute the performance of turbine which is working under the different head for example say if i have an value h1 here 10 meter head so uh, when my turbine is working under 10 meter head and my speed is under 10 meter is 100 rpm if i want to calculate speed of my turbine which is working 50 meter head in that case i am going to compute that uh, value by using this equation so by comparing those uh, by equating those two values i am going to get that uh, required value of speed which is working under the uh, another head that is h2 that is in our case it is 50 meter so let's proceed for uh, discussing some numerical so once we go through the numerical you will get clear idea about the uh, unit quantities so a turbine which is going to operate under a head of 25 meter uh, which is uh, uh, with the speed of 200 rpm 
the discharge uh, passing through the turbine is 9 meter cube per second and which is working under the efficiency of 90% determine the performance of the same turbine which is working under the different head that is 20 meters. So one turbine is given here which is working under 25 meter head and speed of the turbine is given which is working under 25 meter head discharge is given and efficiency is given. Now you know that efficiency of the turbine would be the same if we are considering the unit quantity. So we are going to compute the performance of the turbine under the head of 20 meter. Now uh, after summing of all the given data I am going to make use of unit quantities. Before that here power is not given so we are going to compute the power. So power we know that can be calculated by using equation rho gqh multiplied by over on efficiency. So here I am going to get the value of power 1986.5 kilowatt. I need to compute here speed of the turbine under 20 meter head that is n2 speed of the uh, discharge passing through the turbine under uh, second, uh, h2 that is 20 meter uh, q2 and power developed by the turbine under 20 meter head that is P2. So I am going to make use of those equation n1 upon under root of h1 is equal to n2 upon under root of h2. Similarly this one and uh, another one this one. So when n1 upon h1 just put the values respected value you are going to get the value of n2. So whenever my turbine is going to work under 20 meter there the value of speed will be 178.88 rpm. Similarly, I am going to get the discharge q1 upon under root of h is equal to q2 upon under root of h2. So, uh, whenever I am going to put the respected values, I am going to get value of uh, discharge whenever my turbine is working under 20 meter rate that is 8.05 meter cube per second. Similarly, for the power p1 upon h1 raised, p1 upon h1 raised to 3 by 2 is equal to p2 upon h2 raised to 3 by 2. Again put the respective value, we are going to get the power developed by turbine which is working under 20 meter head is 1421.4 kilowatt. Let's move to the next numerical. Here, uh, Pelton wheel turbine which is revolving at a speed of 190 rpm and the power developed by the turbine is 5150.25 kilowatt when it is working under head of 220 meter with the uh, under the uh, with the overall efficiency 80 percent determine unit speed unit discharge and unit power the speed ratio for the turbine is given as 0.47 also find speed discharge and power under head of 140 meter for the same turbine. So my one turbine is given and all the parameter for that turbine which is working under 220 meter head is given we need to find the performance of that turbine under the 140 meter. So first thing they asked to find the un, uh, unit speed, unit discharge and unit power. So we know that unit speed, unit discharge and unit power is given by the equation n1 upon uh, under root of h1, q1 upon under root of h1 and p1 upon under root of p1 upon h1 raised to 3 by 2. Just put the all respected value. Here uh, they haven't given power uh, sorry, they have given power but they haven't given discharge. So we can compute discharge by using efficiency equation. Uh, efficiency is equal to shaft power divided by rho gq that is water power. Just uh, put all the values, you will get the value of q1 from here. And just put the value of that q1, you will get qu. Uh, speed is already given, n1, you can compute nu. And p1 is also given, you can compute unit speed. And after computing p1, q1 and n1, uh, Q1 uh, and PU, QU and NU, you can compute the value of N2, uh, N2, Q2 and P2. Just try to solve this numerical. Thank you for watching.